Hello guys, this is from Mrs. Abby and welcome to part 7 of the spring series called Spring Your Indoor Houseplant. In part 7, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the fungus gnats that might be in your potting mix. The potting mix you buy and bring home to repot your, your plants. Right here, I have a mixture of three different ingredients. I have potty mix and some perlite, and I also have uh, some cactus mix in here. And I'm just mixing it together. And I want to make sure that if there's any fungus gnats in here, which I've already checked, and there are no fungus gnats in this, but I just want to show you how you can get rid of the fungus gnats in case you do have fungus gnats in your potty mix. So after you mix those three things together there, you want to use some hydrogen peroxide and some water. Now, if you want to know the name of the potty mix I use and the perlite and the cactus mix, just look in the description box and I will uh, give you the name of it. So you want to take like the water and I use like this amount and you can use less or more so according to how much of the soil you're going to be doing. And I'm going to use the equal amount of hydrogen peroxide that I use with the water. So I'm just going to pour the hydrogen peroxide into the water. Now, before we go any further, if you would please subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it very much. Okay, now since I mixed the hydrogen peroxide together with the water, you want to take a the same pot that you're going to use to repot the plant because you are getting ready to repot the plant, so you might as well use the same pot. And here's a pot here. It has a drainage hole under the bottom, and I place it in a saucer because you want it to drain as if you are watering a plant. So you want to take some potty mix. Place it in the pot. How much potty mix you're going to need. And I'm just putting a small amount. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do it because... I'm getting ready to repot something, so I might as well go ahead and put the amount, the right amount that I need in there. Okay, once you do that, you're going to act as if you are watering the plant. And you want to pour you want to pour the mixture of the peroxide in the water into the pot as if you are watering the plant. And you want to get it in there real good because you want to make sure it's going down to all the soil. And you want to let it drain. Because you want to kill all the fungus gnats and the larvae or lava, whatever you call it. And you want to make sure that it's draining and it is draining. See it? Draining out real good. And then after it drained in that little pot right there, you want to remove it from that pot there. And then you want to place it into that saucer. And you want the soil to get dry. So you want to place it in an area of your home that's getting bright light or close to where there's some sun is in order for it to dry out. Then after you uh, finish draining it, you want to place a paper towel over it 
because you do not want any flying fungus gnats that you might have in your home to get in that mixture. Then you want to take some vinegar and a dish detergent and place it in a little cup like this and that's what you see in there. I have these placed all through my home. I also have another video showing you how to use vinegar to attract the fungus gnats away from your soil. I'm going to place that video in the description box. I also have a video showing you how to do the same solution on your already potted plants to get rid of the fungus gnats. I'm going to place that video also in the a description box so guys that's what you want to do you want to make sure you take this right here and place it close to this mixture right here so if any fungus gnats try to get to it they're going to be distracted and they're going to go to this solution here of vinegar and dish detergent instead of trying to get into the mixture there and after it dry out you want to make sure that you test it, make sure there are no more fungus gnats. And if you see any, you have to do this treatment one more time. And then after it dry out, you're ready to repot your plant. So guys, go ahead and subscribe, comment, share this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.